Hello YouTube. I've seen a lot of these things, a lot of videos about duct tape, and I figured I'm going to try one for myself. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a duct tape hand loop like the one here. First of all, you start out with a piece of elastic. Um, dollar store. This will probably run you about a dollar, maybe two. Three bucks at the top. So what? So when you get your piece of elastic like so, one of the first things you want to try to is uh, I got these little strips, also from the dollar store. What you want to do is you want to take your little piece of elastic. off. And then what you want to do is put it around a pen. Depending on how tight you want this, the smaller the pen the better. Okay, maybe not that one. Or if you really want this to be really tight, use a pencil. So normally what I'm supposed to Normally what you do is you go for about a thumb length between where the pencil or pen ends and you normally need about that much. Now if you're really good at sewing you can probably just sew that part there but I don't know how so. Uh, so marker staple. Take a piece of this, cut into four little squares. These come out to about five inches by five inches. So take your first one, and you make this as tight as possible and then you put one there once you essentially have that you can just let go and then you fold it like so trim off the little piece and you got one of these now depending on, you can leave it at this, this is no problem, this works, but if you want something a little bit more shape, a little bit more wider surface area, just take another piece of duct tape, put it down like so, Take another piece and let's see if I can do this on my iPad. And you want to be easier if I had an actual camera, but I don't. And just go like so. Eh. Doesn't really matter if it's not perfect or anything. And you have one of these. Just fold out the inches. And there you go. And these are very nicely attached to binders and whatnot. I just used a piece of red duct tape and I just stuck it on there I would just fold this up and then I use a piece of really cheap dollar store brand duct tape 
what I do is I try to go for mm, something like that. And then I just paste it it's about as evenly as I can against the binder. This is a small binder, so. So when you have this little piece of duct tape here, you could reinforce it, you can just leave it alone. And now, I have a handy little pen loop for my binder. And I can just use it for, I fitted it for the size of a pencil, so I'll just keep the pencil right there. That way, if you're using notes and stuff like that, Another reason why these are very good is sometimes you get little pads of paper like this. You know, just a standard. I got this at um, Staples. And you can just tape a piece of tape right there. Another piece of cheap tape it on like so, make sure it's nice and on, and now whenever I have to go make notes or write something down or if I'm traveling or you know I'm in school or something like that I need to make a lot of notes, there's always a pen right there. And I can just use it as so. And the pen just nicely slides in. It's not moving around. And it's in a nice position. Now the main reason why I'm showing you how to make these is you can buy something like this at a store. But um, I think they, they normally run you like uh, five bucks at a stationery store I usually go to. In this case, I just made my own for like less than two dollars. So, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I don't think I'll have any more. I might have more in the future. Depends on what I do. Thank you. Bye.